Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, I haven't done one in a little while, and I'm really fucking tired. It's only one o'clock. This is it's early for me to go to sleep. But after I'm done with this, I'm gonna go to sleep. Woo! Uh, I got I haven't did this in a long time. I have a DVD update. Yep. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 18 new movies, three of them are burned. Yeah, I know, I buy burned movies. Uh, yeah. I'm not one of those, uh, guys that, burning's bad. Well, I don't have t I don't have money all the time to go see these movies, and some of them, I just don't want to see. Uh, but one of these I actually did see in theaters, and the other two I didn't, so anyway. Actually, two of them have Christian Bale. I'm pretty sure you can guess which those two are now. But anyway, let me go on to some of the DVD, regular DVDs. And then, oh, uh, this is, by the way, this is Gore's game, uh, DVD update, episode two. Uh, oh, I almost said gaming update. Yeah, I know. DVD update, episode two, and I'm up to my, like, my 12th episode on my game update. I have to do more DVD shopping, but I don't really do that much anymore. Uh, first off, we got Monster. I showed this before on my, I think one of my gaming updates, actually. Uh, but I want to show you again, because Asylum is one of the best movie makers ever. Uh, the company's awesome. They made Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus, which I still want to see. I might buy the DVD. I heard it was so awesome. This movie I heard was so badass. Uh, I can't wait to see it. But for some reason, I just keep not seeing it. So... Huh. Warning. This film is not fiction. Is not fictional. It is a documentation. The footage you will see is graphic and disturbing, but it is real. Really fucking fake. That's what it is. Anyway, I heard this one's awesome. And I'm being serious. You probably guys like Asylum. Let me search this up. Uh, they made I Am Omega. Uh, a ripoff of I Am Legend. Okay, what else they make? Alien vs. Hunter. Alien vs. Predator. Okay. Uh, that's a ripoff of Alien vs. Predator. Uh, even though Alien vs. Predator is a piece of shit, I don't know why we would rip off that. And this is obviously a rip off of Cloverfield, Monster. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking of other movies they made. Uh, they made Transformers. Pretty sure you can guess what that's a rip off of. Transformers. And they made a second one called Transformers 2 Fall of Man. Anyway, I'm getting over with this. Eh. I'm going to buy more Asylum movies. Monster is my first. I might rent Mega Shark. And blah. Under Siege one, I don't give a shit, man. I just bought because I think it was two. Was it two dollars? No, it's four dollars. I bought four dollars because you know my Steven Skull collection getting bigger and bigger. The Matchmaker, I don't know. It's one of my things my mom buys, and she buys romantic comedies for my collection. Uh, this is one I bought because I fucking love this movie, and you know it was appropriate because I love it, and it's a fucking badass movie. And we're pretty much going two hundred kids. All right. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Saving Private Ryan, the two disc. I know it's such a big case. You think it maybe three discs? No, only two discs. Sorry, people, only two. And it's the most blankest disc I've ever seen. I have to check my time real quick, actually. I know, I do that a lot. Four minutes. Alright, we're doing good, actually. Uh, so yeah, Seven Power Run. Here's the three, uh, Burn movies I got. Actually, I got four. I got Proposal, also, but that was from my mom. Uh, and we also got a porn movie. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not. Anyway, Terminator Salvation, that's one Christian Bale movie. I will try to watch it now, because people are like, Yo, man, you still, have you seen Terminator Salvation yet? you he said it was like your number two most awaited movie. I'm like, yeah, I know, but the time it came out, and I had trouble with money and shit. I didn't have any money for myself, blah, 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 blah. And the word of mouth was bad, and I saw about 20 minutes of it, and I didn't like the 20 minutes. I was like, and I'm not going to rush out to see it now, because I didn't like the first 20 minutes. Why would I like, whatever. Anyway, Transformers 2, which I did like. I don't know why people hate it so much. I mean, it's a stupid fucking action movie. I'll tell you that. It's fucking retarded. It's all dick. Oh, that's funny. This burn DVD has 
special features, two theatrical trailers, exclusive cast and crew interviews, exclusive behind the legend feature, okay, documentary, uh, I mean, shit, commentary with director Michael Bay, selected cast biographies, and a photo gallery. I'm pretty sure that's probably for the first movie, and it's just like, you know what, fuck it, we'll just put it right there, there you go, here's a fucking disc, you faggot. Anyway, and here's the other Christian Bale movie, uh, stay, Public Enemies, yeah. I was like num my number 10, I was like, I really wanted to see, so I'll definitely see that soon. And a review will be up probably next year. Anyway, I know, I don't do that many movie reviews anymore. Alright, here's a, okay, you know what, let me do this in order. Alright, Jackie Chan First Strike, because I love Jackie Chan. Nova Kane, because I love Steve Martin, in his old ways. And The Order, because I love Keith Ledger. There's no picture on that. I heard it was a bad movie, I saw it, and it is a bad movie. I just picked it up because it's two bucks and in memory of Heath Ledger, I'll pick up his worst movie ever made. Uh, why not? I got his best movie ever made, Dark Knight. Why not have his worst? And one of his better ones, A Night's Tale. Before the Devil Knows You're Dead, never saw it, never probably will because I'm not big on those kind of movies. Uh, my Bloody Valentine 3D, I do have 3D glasses, it's not in real 3D, look at this, ooh. Look at this, uh, look uh -huh, me, whoa, I fucking can't see shit, everything's red and blue, fuck, everything's not popping out at me, ooh, water, mm. my eyes hurt, anyway, yeah. It came with 3D glasses, watched it in 3D, and it looked like shit, to be honest. I mean, come on. It's not real 3D. It doesn't work, to be honest. It does not work. So, yeah. Not the same as in the theater, but, yeah. It was still a fun movie to watch. The Truth About Cats and Dogs, I... My mom bought it. It was only two bucks. Uh, my Best Friend's Girl... My mom liked it. It was only two. Well, it was actually ten bucks. Just like heaven. Another one. My mom was like, oh my god. Uh, the Lazarus Project. Uh, my friend actually bought this because it was a buy four get twenty. Uh, buy four for twenty dollars. Uh, it was like buy four movies and get <sighs> all the movies there for ten dollars. Okay, pick four ten dollar movies and you get them for twenty bucks. Right. So you're saving 20 bucks. You're pretty much getting two for free, which is a fucking awesome deal. Okay, and some of these are fucking cheap now. It's awesome. I mean, I love Blockbuster. I mean, some of these I can get a little cheaper, but I'll have, I'll have to wait like two weeks for Amazon to finally fucking uh, deliver it. So, fuck that shit. I'd rather pay 50 cents more. Hold on. Actually. Ooh, shit. Sorry. Eight minutes. I'll have to finish this right now. Alright, two movies. Okay. Alright, here's the movie I actually got out of the four. Uh, because I got just like Kevin, Best Friends Girl, and Lazarus Project. Lazarus Project was for my friend. And uh, My Best Friends Girl and Just Like Kevin was my mom's. Here's the one I got for me. Tropic Thunder. I fucking love Tropic Thunder. Uh, I gave it a 9 out of 10. I gave Pro Pineapple Express the same score because I like them both equally. I remember back then people were saying, Ooh, ooh, this is better, this is better, this is better, this is better. You're fucking here, you're dumb. Mm whatever. Anyway, and the obvious one I got, uh, Watchmen. Director's Cut, yeah. Fucking badass movie. I fucking love this movie. Alright, I watched the Director's Cut, and I gotta admit there's only a couple scenes I actually saw Hollis Mason's death in it. Oh my god, that was the best fucking it's probably one of the better death scenes in a movie I've seen. Alright, it's sad, and people are saying oh, the sudden stop of music just makes it fucking hilarious. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It makes him more emotional. Why? Would you like uh, the sad music to be played when he's getting his fucking brains bashed in? I'm sorry if I spoiled that, by the way. But, I mean, the clip is on YouTube and shit. No, you should have saw the movie already anyway. It's your fucking fault, you fucking pig. Anyway, let me check my time. That's the new movies I got, including Watchmen. And, uh, thank you and bye.